Hello everybody, welcome back to another Mid Journey version 5 tutorial. In this one, we're in Niji version 5. That's right, the anime bot. And I'm going to show you the new Style Expressive. It's a new style that just launched today and it's got a bunch of cool things that are attached to it. I'm going to show you how to set it up and use it because it's not quite as user uh, as straightforward as you might like. And then after that, I'll show you some examples. So here it is. In a nutshell, Niji 5 Style Expressive is basically described as having more mature feelings as well as a little bit more of a Western style of anime or of anime art. So a little more Western and a little bit more mature feelings. In particular, it has a realistic eye style. It has subsurface scattering and ambient occlusion. Whatever that is, I have an idea what it is, but it it's, does it a little bit more, it uses those a little more and also the color tones and the palette, it sort of moves towards warmer and more vibrant colors due to higher chroma. So that is the uh, the gist of what it, it does. We're of course gonna put that into play and put it into action. Now, if you look at my mid journey up at the top right, you'll see here I am in my own channel. It's called Curtis Mid J or in my own server to be more correct. And it's got me and then it's got the Niji mid journey bot. That's very important. You have to be working with the mid journey, with the Niji journey bot. You can't access this inside standard mid journey at this time. So with that out of the way to access this, all you need to do is type in settings, forward slash settings, hit enter. And when you do that, you'll see a few options, but here you'll see expressive style. So I'm in Niji version five by default because I'm in Niji in, in my server and I've selected expressive style. Also, there's two more coming this month. So April 16th and 23rd, there's two more styles coming, but there you go. This is how you access it. If you do not have the mid journey or the Niji bot, you can go to this link here. I'll put a description in the below. And what it's gonna do is it's just gonna go ahead and open up this here, which is their website. And you just need to go ahead and sign in and download the bot. So you gotta download it into Discord. It's very easy to do, but you'll need to go there. Okay, with all that preamble out of the way, let's get into Niji. So here we go. I've got five or so examples. This one here, I'm gonna run first. I'm gonna go, so to do that, and I'm just kind of picking random -y styles. So I'm gonna go forward slash imagine. And I'm going to go, a group of happy students take an adventure in the woods, beautiful sun lighting. I'm going to run that. And when I run on that, you'll see that it says style expressive. So that means the expressive style has been selected. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run five or so of these prompts. And then I'm going to run them again without the expressive style. We'll compare them. And that way you can see whether or not it's something, you know, you want to give a crack to. So there you go. I'm going to run them. I'm going to come back when they're done and then we'll wrap it up. All right, everybody, so it's finished up. Let's take a quick look at this. So here's the first one, a group of happy students take an adventure in the woods, beautiful sun lighting. In dash dash style expressive, this is what we got. And it's pretty damn good. I really like this third one here. Uh, they're all good, actually. They're all kind of cute, but I like the third and the fourth one especially. So if you wanted to keep those or up, you can basically upscale them by clicking on U3 or U4. Or if they're good, but you want to vary them up a little bit, you can click on the V3 or V4 and make a variation like this. So if I just wanted to change this up a bit, I would just create a variation by clicking on that V. Here is the second set, and this is a futuristic space station, a group of human in robotic suits. Okay, so humans in robotic suits doing some stuff. Also fantastic, this is style expressive. We're gonna go through this nice and quick now. Here's another set of style expressive. This is a shot of Shibuya Street, Shibuya, Shibuya Street. Also, you can see it's in style expressive and then a coffee shop on the beach. I like a lot of these shots here. And then I did one kind of a little outside the box, a cute French bulldog with happy features. And this gave me photo realistic results practically. So a little different, not gonna lie, but hey, you know what? I like it. I like the look of that bulldog. So here is the version here, the same prompt, happy students, take an adventure, beautiful sunlighting, Niji 5 without the expressive. So this is not style expressive. So this is the default style. And you can see they're a little bit different. The colors are a little bit less vibrant. There's a little bit less contrast in them. The style is very similar, but again, you can see the differences. Here's the uh, shot on the moon type thing where they're out there working with their suits. Again, a little bit less contrast if we compare it to this one here. These have darker and brighter colors and a little more cartoony, at least on the bottom two. These ones, 
a lot less chroma. So keep that in mind. This is actually quite a different uh, look here. This is the Shibuya Street, and I quite like these images. If we go back to the original up here, then the Expressive, also very, very similar. But look, the colors are much brighter. You can totally see that. So you can see quite a difference here. Uh, let's go down and look at the Bulldog. The Bulldog is completely different. This one here on the bottom left is cute, but the other ones are all kind of cutie renders. And then bang, the coffee shop beside the beach. Blue sky, great looking traditional anime style where if we go back to what we ran up here, again, brighter colors, a little bit more um, animated look to it, cartoony. But there you go. These are the two comparisons. This is how you set it up. This is the new, become an amazing anime maker with this new style expressive. It's real good. It's worth a look. If you have any questions, leave me a comment below. Thanks for watching.